safely have hair salons and nail salons and tattoo parlors where people where inherently, is where is this that? is in Georgia, where, where people have to inherently be close together. I think what I've been trying to communicate over the last several days is it's really important that the governors and mayors communicate critical information to their communities and show very clearly the data. Remember, we wanted this data and evidence-based, the data that they utilize to make decisions and the data that the mayors should use in each of the communities, because it will have to be on a community-by-community -community opening, because there are different communities in different places, even in Georgia. And so I believe people in Atlanta would understand that if their cases are not going down, that they need to con continue to do everything that we said, social distancing, washing your hands, wearing a mask in public. So if there's a way that people can social distance and do those things, then they can do those things. I don't know how, but people are very creative. So I'm not going <clears> to <throat> prejudge, but we have told people very clearly, and the president guidelines made it very clear, about the expectations of phase one. And remember, phase one also included social distancing in restaurants, social distancing in every place that was entertainment, and keeping your own individual social groups to less than 10. I mean, we've been very clear in the guidelines, and I think it's up to the governors and mayors to ensure that they're following the best they can each of those phases to make sure that both the, the public is completely protected. But the governors and mayors also need to communicate very clearly on the data that was used for decision making and make that transparent and available to their communities.